think I'm live. I think we're good. This thing took a freaking savage beating. Probably the worst one of them all. I think this one's the worst one out of them all. Well, like the whole freaking roll cage is crushed. The seat, imagine you're sitting in the seat. It is the only manual car in the freaking whole building though. Really? It seems like it. I mean, every other car I've seen has been automatic. So this was the, the Mallet Hammer Z06. Just took a freaking beating. That's just horrible. It's terrible. And then this one took even worse of a hit. This one just looks like it's like, I mean, it's, a, it's like, oh, that one's a manual too. It's just like that clay dirt just destroy them along with. Quick detail would clean that up. <laughs> I think that one would buff. That one, you'd probably have to get some paint correction. Some mobile detailer, some spray on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then this, guys. Look at this. Check it out. Take a look more than 30 feet down into what's left of the sinkhole that rocked the Corvette world. You ready for this? All the way down there. Would you look at that? Gosh dang. So we'll swing around here and look at a couple of the other Corvettes that done got sunk in the old National Corvette Museum sinkhole. Freaking just terrible, man. That's a 09, that's a one and a half million Corvette built. Pretty uh, legendary car, and it got destroyed. And then here's that ZR1 that, uh, here I'll show you once these people take a picture. So this is that ZR1 that you, you saw in the pictures. See like right there. And right there, this is that ZR1, but they fixed it. They restored all the damage on it, and it's actually perfectly clean. Like, it has zero damage on it now. But as you can see back in the picture, it, uh, it fell pretty far. So it probably had some decent damage. Oh, yeah, this one shows it. And then they added the body shop, and uh, now she's good to go. So that one's restored. But a lot of these cars, they just kind of kept on display, and it's pretty crazy to see the carnage of it. Pretty freaking crazy. Gotta pray for the bald eagles out here, guys. Luckily, some of them were able to fly out, like with that ZR1. Pretty savage, though. Pretty savage. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna grab a buffer and start working on these things. Thanks for watching, and we will see you later.